video, we are bringing together several of the solutions we introduced with the previous closed loops. With this loop, we want to bring stability and improvement to the organization by establishing healthy systems or processes. What do we mean by that? We don't want them to fail. A process or system failure is a state or condition of not meeting an intended output or objective. For a variety of reasons, we miss the mark. This affects our people, the customer, or the business. It easily causes high blood pressure to all the leadership. What is an approach to address these problems systematically? A wise man once said, There are only three root causes to a problem. There isn't any standard in place, the standard is not being followed, or the standard is outdated. So it all starts and ends with the standardization of the process. We saw that in loop three, integrating improvement. So we first standardize the system or process. Then we document it so that we can train people to be competent. They can run it safely and efficiently. We observe the process performance and check if it is healthy. We can do it proactively before it fails by managing risk and auditing. Risk-based thinking enables us to determine the factors that could cause processes and systems to deviate from the planned results, to put in place preventative controls to minimize negative effects. Simply put, we ask the question, what could go wrong? How likely is it? And how serious the impact would be? Must we do something about it? Auditing provides information on whether the process or system conforms to its requirements or that of the chosen industry or international standard. It answers the question, is it effectively implemented and maintained? We can also monitor reactively that the process deviates from standards. Signals that the processes are not healthy are activating the trigger of the key performance indicators, raising a non-conformity, or having recurring breaches of service level agreements. All these tools and methods tell us what and when to improve. The result of the improvement is an improved practice. It is captured in the updated standard and people are trained. With the document management system on team page to the process documentation, our associated threat and risks, auditing, non-conformity, improvement, and all the follow-up actions. In one place, we can follow the life of a process and see if it is implemented, healthy, improved, and maintained. The full history of activities supporting the process health are there. And you would expect that the more critical the process is, the more live activities you can see. In the previous loop videos, we covered most activities associated to processes with documentation, risk management, service level agreements, and various improvement methods and tools. The focus of this video is to show how the audit solution looks into the process health to identify sources of risk and improvement opportunities. Then, how familiar solutions will enable the process owner and the team to act on the findings and improve. On team page, audits are associated to a process or a product. Audits are performed based on any type of industry or international standards. This is an overview of the auditing activities for this process. We have audit profiles, all audit events, all follow-up actions, and open findings. Let's zoom on a specific audit profile, such as this one for ISO 9001. In this view, we can see the future scheduled audits, the past ones, open findings, and open follow-up actions. Various types of follow-up actions are available based on the type of findings. For example, it can be a non-conformity for a major finding or an improvement opportunity for an observation made by the auditor. During the course of the audit, non-conformities are raised on major findings. They will always be followed by corrective action. This is logical, since the process is not conforming to requirements. Remember, either the process is not in place, or it is not being followed, or it's outdated. Before the corrective action is completed, the relevant risks are adjusted. The risk register remains current. As seen in previous loops, the implementation of a countermeasure can be done with an innovation. If the countermeasure is a large improvement, then it is implemented with an improvement project. Likewise, a minor finding or an observation from the audit can result in an improvement opportunity. The risk is also reassessed during improvement projects. So with this audit loop, we will observe the process. 
If it is not healthy, we improve it before process failures affect our people, the customer, and the business. The improvement is documented in the adjusted standard. Our people are trained and competent. The loop is closed. So, with Closed Loop 5, we've reached the end of the series. If you've watched so far, well done, I'm impressed. Why don't you connect with us then and start a conversation? Those five closed loops are examples of how MP solutions can mesh together to support your lean management system and support the journey of operational excellence toward a prosperous organization. Hello, my name is Kiria Biabanu, and I've been your host for this video series. In the next video, we present a follow-up of Loop 5. We showcase the typical solutions most used by quality assurance people. The story links the internal audit of a production process to the follow-up actions from a major finding.